Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Yeah, the first point I want to show you is uh, to make the phone a bit faster because uh, if you open an app, uh, anyhow it's a gallery or if it's the Play Store, you, you have always an animation. If I close it, there's an animation again if it closes. But you can remove these kind of animations, so let me show you how you can do that. So for that, just scroll down here and go to the symbol for the settings. Then we need to scroll down to the point Accessibility and here we will need the point Visibility Enhancements. So in here we need this point here Remove Animations. Okay. Now if I open maybe the Play Store it's immediately there. If I close it it's immediately gone. One more time. Immediately there. Immediately gone. Okay. Let me now um, Enable these anim uh, animations again. I open it, comes, close, goes down. It comes, uh, close. Can you see the differences? Let me now remove the animations here. I open it, there, I close it, there. Okay, the next point I want to show you is also cool because you can hide apps here from the phone. No? Uh, may you have an app uh, no one should see on the phone. May let's take TikTok here. Uh, your parents are not uh, good with that or may Donald Trump. Uh, you can hide TikTok. Or another app. No, it's just an example. Okay. Just go to the home screen for it. Take two fingers, pinch them in like this, and then you will have here some settings. If you scroll down a bit here, you will have here the point to hide apps. Okay, now you have a list with your apps and you can choose the apps you want to hide. And may let's continue with our example here, TikTok. Go on done. And TikTok is disappeared here. Okay, but how we can use TikTok if you don't see it anymore? For that, just go to the settings. So scroll down, go to the settings, then go to the point apps. Now you have a list as well with all your apps. Go to the app you want to have, like TikTok now, and just go here on open to open TikTok. Okay, a second way would be if you just use here at app draw the search bar. Yeah, just enter TikTok. And then you can go also directly to that place to open TikTok. And apropos apps, we can clone apps here also at this phone. So that means uh, if you want to have maybe uh, two WhatsApp accounts here on the phone, and hey, why not? You can insert two SIM cards. Why not having uh, one WhatsApp account for each number? Or you can also clone a Facebook if you want uh, without changing your account always here in the same app. Now you can have a second Facebook app here on the phone. So let me show you how you can do that. So for that, just scroll on here and go to the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point advanced features. And if you scroll down a bit, you will have here the point dual messenger. And as the name says already, it's only for messenger so messaging services. So if you want to clone an app like WhatsApp here, just turn it on like this, go on install. And by the way, the first time you have to confirm something and you have to set up if you want to have a separate contact list and so on. But a separate contact list, you can skip it because you can have it always later here at this point to use a separate contact list for all your second apps here. Okay, just clone Snapchat here as well, Facebook as well. By the way, Facebook and Messenger, for that you will need the, um, the main apps. No? There are also light uh, versions out there, if, uh, which one requires uh, less storage and so on. But these kind of apps are not able to clone. Okay, let me show you now how it looks like. So the app door. This is my main WhatsApp account. This is my second one. My main Snapchat account, my second one and my main Facebook account maybe and here my second one. You can recognize always the second app here with the orange mark here at the corner. No? And yeah, by the way, Instagram doesn't work also. Uh, you can't clone it. Uh, but I think with WhatsApp and Facebook, it is a good option. Okay, the next one I want to show you is something for the eyes because you can enlarge the text size a bit. Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just scroll on here and then you have the symbol for the settings. Then we need to point display here. And here we have two points. One is the font size and style. So, and you can enlarge it if you want. 
And there's a second point which one affects also this, uh, the, the text size and so on, but zoom up also app icons, that's the screen zoom. This is the one I would uh, recommend to you, just go one point further or completely if you have a problem already with your eyes and then everything becomes a bit bigger now. So let's have a look here at the uh, settings, as you can see, you can read it much better right now, but it affects also the notifications. Uh, a disadvantage is that you can't see the full preview here um, with messages and so on. So you, you see just the part because the uh, text size is too large then. Um, but it's much more comfortable and it affects also here the home screen and so on and so on. Okay, let me show you another point which one uh, is also very good for the eyes. It's a blue light filter. For that, just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time. By the way, you have much more apps then and also a second page here and uh, one of these little shortcuts is here the eye comfort shield. If you enable it, you see that the color of the screen is a bit changing because it's a blue light filter and the blue light filter removes the eye strain. So and uh, very cool is if you want to reduce the stress for your eyes, just go here also to the written word eye comfort shield and you will have some more options. No? Enabled is actually the adaptive one. I, I would recommend to you to go to the custom one because then you can change also the color temperature because as more warm it is, also if it's unusual at the beginning, as you can see, as better it is for your eyes. And uh, at latest, at latest at the night, you should have enabled this blue light filter because it affects also the sleep. So you should really have it. And if, if uh, the uh, screen disturbs you here, with the yellow touch on the day, you should have it at latest in the evening. And trust me, your eyes will get used to. Okay, if you just want to have it for the evening, just go here on details and then go here on set chat shield and then go from sunset to sunrise. That means whenever the sun sets, turn on if the sun rises, it turns off automatically. And something which one supports that feature is the dark mode. So if you scroll down here, scroll down a second time, go to the second page again, you will have also a dark mode. And this is something also for the evening, because if we turn it on, most of the things which one was white before becomes now dark, almost black in some cases. And um, that really is also comfort comfortable for the eyes, because if you are in the dark and have a very bright screen, I think you know what I mean. Uh, that's not so nice for the eyes uh, if you're uncomfortable with and your eyes have stress. And uh, if you enable this dark mode, you don't have it anymore. And because you should use it just only for the night, because on the day you could have problems to uh, see your screen because if there's a lot of sunlight with a dark mode, it's not good to um, see everything. So just enable it also for the evening and the night. So just go on the written word dark mode, go on details and set it up also uh, just for the sunset to sunrise. And also great is this dark mode saves also energy because um, the dark mode uh, turns off the pixels, as of the, if the background is dark, it turns off pixels and that saves energy. And a point here at the phone uses that also for the power saving mode. Because if you are in need for more energy and you don't have the chance to charge your phone now for uh, a certain time, there's uh, something to extend the battery life. So for that, just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and then you will have that power saving module. That saves at first, um, um, as it reduces the, um, the speed for the CPU at first, and it uh, reduces also a bit the brightness of the screen, which one takes a lot of energy. Huh? But if you're really in need, I would recommend to you to use the ultra power saving mode and you should really enable this and the phone will reduce all the stuff to a minimum. And that um, could extend the battery lifetime here for two up to three times. And that could really save your life one day. So let me show you how you can enable this. For that, just go here on the written word, power saving. Let me turn it off first. Yeah, that's not automatically enabled. Let's go here on the uh, word power saving. Go on the point details. 
and you see what, what will happen if you enable some stuff here. No? So it will uh, reduce also the background activities, it will re reduce um, the refreshing rate here. No? And 60 Hz is absolutely okay because uh, all over the years in the past uh, the, the standard was 60 Hz. So um, that really saves energy. So turn off the always on display, limit the CPU speed and so on. This I have told you already. Turn off 5G and so on. But I would recommend to you the last point to really squeeze out the maximum from the battery. That is limit apps on the home screen and put it also in dark mode and so on. If you enable this and if you on now the power saving mode, maybe here or later here, then your phone will go in this mode here and that really really saves energy as you can see i can go now with my 45 percent of battery time i can have estimated three days and 15 hours to go so almost four days with just 45 percent of battery um, how this works first of all we have a dark screen here so that saves energy as i have told you and then we have minimized also here the apps so these are my main apps here already but i can also add some other ones like maybe whatsapp or let's take maybe also uh, youtube of course huh? and um, yeah you can add also some other ones and uh, also the uh, the display time no? until it's turned off it's also just 15 seconds here so it saves also energy as i said because the display really needs energy and also the background activities are no more there also gps is not really working and so on so everything is turned down a bit okay and when you have the chance one day to charge your phone again just go on the three points go you on turn off power saving mode and you will be back in the regular mode and don't worry also if you have minimized the things here and so on um, your whole data is still there you don't erase any data with this power saving mode all your data is still available. Okay, the next mode I want to show you is really nice to use the phone with one hand because there's a sidebar here, almost invisible. If you swipe it in, you have quick access to your favorite apps. But you can set up also some apps uh, you uh, want to use uh, most of the time. Uh, so for that, just go here on the three lines, so the hamburger menu, go and edit. And you can say maybe, okay, you can update it. No, I want to do it later. Uh, maybe you say, okay, I don't want to have the Chrome browser, I want to have the gallery, just an example. No? So then you have the gallery here. Just use the home button and you're back in regular mode. And whenever you use the sidebar right now, you will have now the gallery here. Uh, as I said, very useful if you use your phone with one hand because you just swipe it out with your thumb and so on. And you have quick access here without going at first to the app drawer and so on. That saves also time. And there's another nice one-handed mode if I just scroll down here, the home button. No? And this feature you have, as well, now I have full access here to my uh, phone. I can even play games here and so on. No? It's a very nice mode, but don't worry, you have to enable this mode first. Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just scroll down here then go to the symbol for the settings. Go then to the point, advanced features. And this point here, one-handed mode should marked blue. So enable this mode here and then you will have the one-handed mode. And whenever you swipe down the home button, you have this mini screen. And um, by the way, if you are left-handed, you can put it also with the arrow here on the other side. And yeah, so it's really comfortable. As I said, you can even play games with them. Um, whenever you want to have the full screen again, just tap here on the outside and you're back in the regular mode. Yeah, I hope I could help you here with this uh, first 10 things to do to set up your phone and so on. And uh, yeah, may if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that will be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and you have created also some other videos if you're interested in some more tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me to don't miss a new video. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao.